Morning all. Let's do a quick group of free puzzles. So let's play rated puzzles on Chess World. <clears throat> okay. So here, intuitively, it looks as though there's a, a mating net already being constructed. Is that bishop? So shaving firm everywhere, can't they? <laughs> There's bishops covering some escape squares. Queen could come into h4. It looks very dangerous already. And if we prioritize forcing moves based on trying to mate the white king here, I don't think we can go too f badly wrong. Hmm. But exactly how? Queen h4 does threaten the mate. h3 or g3. h3. We could also go with knight g3 takes. But that protects h4. What if we fling in there rook g6? G5. Mm, we can still play rook h6 because takes. No, no. G5. I think we just take the queen. So knight g3 and rook g6 looks really dangerous. I'm not really sure how white defends that after knight g3 takes rook g6. And try g5 to stop rook h6. Queen takes, renews rook h6 as a threat. But also then, mm, no. Yeah. Uh, that's my first thought. Knight g3 looks very tempting. Because uh, I'm not, I'm not so convinced about queer h4. There might be some defensive resources, like giving up the exchange, like h3, knight g3, king h2. We don't really want to take an exchange, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this to start off. All right, now I think mm, rook g6, g5. But what about in this position? Maybe less controversial than allowing g5, and and simpler. There's, there's another move which is actually super simple to actually. We can we can destroy this defensive resource in advance here with a certain move. I think we just play queen g5, and if rook f2, we just take that. If takes, we pl play queen h6. I just queen g5 stops g5. This might be the most accurate way of playing, um, just to finish off this mating net without too much uh, hassle. I, I think I'm going to try queen g5. Mm. Maybe I'm not sure I've missed something there. Maybe I have. Okay, we'll go back to rook g6. Oh. Well, I've, I don't know if there's more than my solving this. Might need an update, but. T taking is also allowing queen h4. I mean, taking is, is strong as well, but I thought all of these are pretty strong. Yeah. Let's, let's have a quick look. This might need a, a solution update. Um, I mean, it's just a winning position. Uh, so, black. Played. Actually, a knight a6 king's engine. This is topical from a recent over the board game. I'm trying to get into that c5. Well, the front it gets a nice king's engine. Okay, it doesn't use that knight, just goes back. It's actually exchange there, dark square play. Yeah, I mean, let's play the computer. I think we can win it in all sorts of ways. Uh, so this is going to be a clear cut one. So we're going to play knight g3. And I, I think queen g5, I, what's the resistance? It's only temporary. We just take that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't noticing what the computer was doing there. Oh, that was naughty. Let's <laughs> take back. <laughs> but I, I think it's all winning. Yeah, I, I think it's all winning. Let's, let's try that again. Now we've uh, we're under the news. <laughs> Uh, I think just knight g3 and rook g6 is also okay. There's g5 
to slow things down. Yeah. Let me just take that. It's all winning, isn't it? I think we're just basically mating. It's it's basically mating. <laughs> oh! No, hang on. Where did that come from? That that does the low things, at least. Where did that come from? Is that an argument that this is much, much easier then uh, to play the solution? It might be actually, because, because uh, the pawn is covering. Uh, I, I think that is the most insightful. The pawn is covering the escape square, so th this isn't going to help, right? Well, actually, here we, we're covering e two. We can. We can do this. All right, it's all winning anyway. It's a totally winning King's Engine position. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Hmm, white play. Well, there's Queen. Actually, I just noticed there's Queen A three here. That looks pretty convincing. Actually, if King A Knight F six. Is checkmate if king e6 queen d6 this looks so clear cut queen a3 this diagonal this is an easy one isn't it queen a3 i can't see no no queen a3 king here and then it carries on we haven't got queen d6 um but but that position is uh okay let's think a bit more then Mm -hmm. We need to throw in knight f5 first so we can have g takes. Knight f5, there's not too many choices. King e6, queen a3. Um, King e6, actually, there's, there's actually queen d6 there, takes rook d6 is checkmate. So if takes, then we've got the option of this. Play queen a3, king e6. We can play takes there. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Um, it might be useful to throw in knight f5 first, basically. Might be. Mm. Let's look at this again. Takes. Check. King e6. Check. Takes. Well, there is then. In that position, there's queen f3 check, and if the king moves there, queen f6. It might be very useful, knight f5 first. If king e6, well, we can sort of take on h6. Let's throw this in first. Oh, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, I managed to actually find the killer blow in this one. Wow. So, oh, Nimzovich. He played a Nim Miles played a Nimzovich system. Knight f3, just ignoring it. And this, I don't think this is that good now. I mean, you can play this with black, but it's a bit provocative. Maybe sometimes Miles is a bit overly provocative with these strange openings. All right, white sacks the exchange. Gigantic possession. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And one more. So let's see. White to play. Okay, we're noticing the Queen's attacked. We've got this G file. Gigantic G file. Bishop's a bit hemmed in. I don't think that's gonna be doesn't look to be the star of the show here, the bishop on F one. G file looks absolutely critical. So if we start off with knight e6, because if takes rook g7, king h8, rook g8. Okay, knight e6 takes. We can still maybe sack a rook. Rook takes g5, er, g7, takes. Mm -hmm. If we just take back, leaving the queen. 
um, hanging. Uh, we can play rook g7, king f8. Look, we can play knight takes for knight f6, for that matter. Actually, knight takes for knight f6. So knight takes h7, rook takes queen. It looks as though, like, rook g7, king uh, h8, knight f6 might be mating on h7 there. How does black actually defend against the mate on h7? Yeah, knight takes looks really kind of tempting. Tempting. I'm, I'm going to actually go for this, yes. That is. And we play knight f6 here for that pattern, you know, that pattern, the knight and rook mating in the corner, knight f6. And there's also rook g8 as well. Is there anything more forcing? Check, check. The king comes to h6. Uh, cool. So, 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 I think that, that's, 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 that's crunching. So, uh, okay, this is a quick uh, tactical uh, workout. Hope you enjoyed today's quick session. Okay, comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.